It's not educationally sound. It's not in the best interest of our students. There are classes in there right now that have three students, where our typical class would have 32 students. So they're not coming. They've signed up for distance learning courses, but they haven't signed up for the in-person courses. The administration, uh, let's speak for themselves, but uh, they're trying to boost the graduation rate. Uh, and they'll do it any way they can. It's all politics. Um, what they've told us is other colleges do it, and they think it will help to improve the graduation rate. And again, they don't have, right now there are classes going on in there that have three students in them instead of the 32 that should be in them. If someone can't learn something in 15 weeks, they surely can't learn it in 12 days. They're offering a nursing course, Pharmacology 3, for students who weren't able to pass it in 15 weeks. They've got three students signed up to try to learn that same amount of material in 12 days. That's laughable. The administration has said this is a contract issue. We don't have a contract yet. It's got nothing to do with contra our contract. The people who are standing here are foregoing money. If, if I was teaching the course and one of these other faculty members, we'd be getting paid roughly $4,000 for 12 days' work. We don't want to do the courses. They're bad for our students. It's as simple as that. Um, it's part of Rhode Island Promise. Absolutely. The, the students to uh, be involved in Rhode Island Promise have to complete 30 credits in an academic year. A lot of these students can't do it in the fall semester, so this is a way that they can, uh, again, a course they couldn't complete in 15 weeks, uh, the administration thinks miraculously they're going to be able to do in 12 days. Just there's, there's no, uh, again, uh, the leadership here, Megan Hughes, Rosemary Costigan, are not competent to do the job. It's as simple as that. They don't have the credentials to do the job. And uh, they've shown poor leadership in a number of areas. And uh, 160 faculty members, 82% of those who voted, uh, voted that they should be removed or resign. I mean, no, these are, teach these are faculty from out of state, some of them, who've right. never taught here before. So you, nobody, nobody in the union here is uh, teaching these classes? Uh, we, we've got the, the chair of the nursing department is teaching a class. Right. Right. which I think is disgraceful. Right.